Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a meerkat, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 15cm by 25.5cm or 6 inches by 10 inches. This medium meerkat crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 9cm by 16.5cm or 3.5 inches by 6.5 inches. And the small meerkat crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7.5cm by 13cm or 3 inches by 5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 404 English tea, 157 root beer and 162 black coffee. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the end, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and embroider on a mouth and I've got tiny little seed beads for the centres of the eyes. Now I'm going to start on the head, so using my 404, the English T, I work 4 chain. For row 1 I work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, bring up a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. We need one more single crochet in that same chain. We work one single crochet into the next chain and two single crochet into our last chain. We've got five stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. We'll have seven stitches. For row 3 we start with 2 chain. We're going to work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. We need one more half double crochet into that same stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our two half double crochet work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then we work two half double crochet into our last stitch. For 
to row four, we start with two chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So we've worked one half double crochet into the first, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our initial two single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our first two single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into our last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches. one single crochet into each stitch. For row well, eight, we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, we put a hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch 
to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Our work's starting to slope in a bit. Row 9 is worked the same as row 8. We start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. And that's a head done, except for a neatening row. For the neatening row, we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around the top of the head until we get to the start of row 10. For a slip stitch, we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook. So we just find a suitable place to put our hook to work our stitches, not too far from the edge of our work.
Now I've worked around the head and I'm back to the start of row 10. Now I work a slip stitch into each of the first two stitches. I work one single crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the following stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch and work a slip stitch into each remaining stitch and fasten off. And that just gives it a little bit of a chin. So that's a head done. For this head marking I've got my 157, the root beer, and I work four chain. For row one, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. I'll have five stitches. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and work two single crochet into the last stitch. I've got seven stitches. For row three I turn my work and work one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. So I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. So a slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. And then work one chain. I work one single crochet into the same stitch as a chain and one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. I've got three stitches. For row four I start with one chain and turn my work and I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. I put my hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and then put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through the four loops. And that's the head marking done. We're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'll start with one chain and then just work a slip stitch into each stitch right around the head marking.
and pass them off. And that's the head marking done. Now for the eyes, I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways of making a magic loop. I like to just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the long end, and then take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and work two single crochet into the circle. And pull the circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn my work and I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the first eye done. I'll work another one. So I start with a magic loop and work one chain. I work two single crochet into my circle and pull the circle tight. Then I work one chain, I turn my work and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And fasten off. And we'll work the nose now. It's worked the same as the eyes. We start with a magic loop and work one chain. We work two single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and then work one chain and turn our work and we work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and fasten off. And that's the nose done. Now I'll be back with my root beer and we'll work the ears. For the ears they work the same. I've got my 157, my root beer, and I make a magic loop. I work two chain and into my circle I work one double crochet a double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the circle and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work four treble. A treble is called a double treble using UK terms. For a Treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more, more loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. We need three more treble into our circle.
then we work one double crochet so yarn around the hook once and one half double crochet into our circle then we pull the circle tight and fasten off and that's the first ear done we'll make another one the same we start with a magic loop and work two chain we work one double crochet into the circle then four treble into our circle we put the yarn around twice at the beginning of the stitch one double crochet into the circle then one half double crochet we pull the circle tight and fasten off and that's the second ear done now I'll be back with my 404 the English T and we'll start on the body. Now for the body I've got my 404 the English T and I work 7 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end I'll have six stitches For row 2 I start with one chain and turn my work and I work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. One single crochet into each stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 
we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. That's just for the neck part there. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For our weight we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joint single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have six stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For row 13 we start with 2 chain and turn. We're going to work one half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. So one half double crochet into each of the first three stitches.
and then one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have eight stitches. For row 17, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our eight stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches.
for row 21 we start with two chain and turn we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the first three stitches so a half double crochet into the each of the first three and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 22, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 27 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 3 stitches. And 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn and work 
one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 30 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 31, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our eight stitches. And for row 32, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our eight stitches. And that's the body done. We're going to start on this leg first. We start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch. And a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. We've got three stitches. For row 34, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We've got three stitches. For row 35, we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 36, we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the first and the last stitch. So the same stitch as we worked our first single crochet. And for row 37 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the body and the first leg done. Now for the second leg, we join our 404, the English T, to the third last stitch at the bottom of the body. So this stitch here
and we work one chain. We work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as a chain and the next stitch. And we work one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. And we work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into that stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain, turn our work and work one single crochet into the stitch. And for row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. And that's the body done. It's going to face that way. So we don't turn our work or fasten off. We're going to work an evening row. So we start with one chain and we'll work one or two single crochet into each stitch around. So we just find a suitable place, not too far from the edge, to put our hook and work a single crochet. Occasionally we'll have to work two single crochet if it's around a curve or something. Now I'm going to work over the top of the ends, crochet them in, so I hold them against my work and crochet over the top of them. I'm just working one single crochet into each stitch up this side. Now into this point here, I'm going to work two single crochet into that stitch, just in there. If the stitches start to bend back too much, you will need to work two single crochet into a stitch. Now I'll continue working around the body and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. 
when we get back to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the body done. Now for this arm here, we join our root beer cotton three stitches down from the neck. Now this is the next stitch here, so three stitches down from there. So this stitch here and we work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. So not the stitch that we've joined in. One single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to work 15 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one double crochet into each of the next three chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So miss the first two chain and work one double crochet into each of the following three chain. Then we're going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. For a joined double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. We've got three loops le left. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And then we work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. That just gives it the bend in the arm. And then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A join double crochet over the following two stitches. And then one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches.
then slip stitch into the bottom of that half double crochet that we did before the chain and fasten off. And that's the arm done. I'll just weave in these ends and then I'll be back and we'll work the legs and this side. Now for the meerkat's right leg we join our cotton, the root beer, five stitches up from the stump. So we'll work five, five stitches down this stitch here and we work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches And then we work 11 chain. We work three double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So three double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Two double crochet into the next stitch. That just bends the foot around a bit. And then one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Now we're going to work one treble into each remaining chain. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice. Then we slip stitch into the other side of the stump. So this stitch over here, work a slip stitch to join. Work one single crochet into the same stitch as the slip stitch and then one slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off.
and that's the first leg done. I'll just weave in those ends so they won't get in the way while I do the other side. For the other leg, the left leg, we join our cotton to the end of the stump. So towards this other side. and work 12 chain we work 3 double crochet into the third chain from the hook Then work three chain and slip stitch in that same stitch as the double crochets. Slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain. And then work one double crochet into which remaining chain including the stitch where we've worked our three chain. So one double crochet into each remaining chain. Now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches along the body. Then work two treble into the next stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. And then we work one treble into each of the following four stitches. Now we're going to work one double crochet 
into each stitch to this point here just in there so one double crochet into each stitch to the stitch before then Now I'm up to the point, I work one half double crochet into that point there. Then one double crochet into the next stitch. And then one treble into each stitch to four stitches down from the neck. So here's my neck, so I'm going to work one treble into each stitch to four before. So this one here. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice before we start. Now I've got four stitches left before the neck. I work one double crochet into the next stitch. Then slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. And that's the body. complete. I've still got to work the arm and the tail. Now I'm starting on this arm now. I've still got the root beer and I make a magic loop. For row one I start with three chain and I work two double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And I pull the circle tight. For row two, I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of my two stitches.
for row three I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of the two stitches. For row four I start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the two stitches. And for row five I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch. Now we're starting on the bend for the elbow now, so we start with three chain and turn. We work a joined double crochet over the two stitches. And then work one double crochet in the last stitch the same stitch as the last part of the joint double crochet. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 1 double crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 9 we start with 3 chain and turn and we're going to work a four double crochet cluster over the two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as our last stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. We've got three loops on our hook. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn through two loops. We've got four loops on the hook now. Then yarn around the hook, hook into that last stitch again and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the first two loops and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops and fasten off. And that's the arm done. We'll work the tail now. So using the root beer I start with 25 chain Now I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Then I work one double crochet into each of the next four chain.
then a joined double crochet over the following two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch. And a joined double crochet over the following two stitches. Then work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. turned bitterly cold here it's almost winter so it's quite difficult to crochet today And then we fasten off. And that's the tail done. So that's all our pieces. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all the pieces. I've got the body, the two ears, the nose, the head, two eyes, the head marking, the arm and the tail. The first things I'll do is embroider these markings on the feet and the arms. I'll attach the head marking to the head just in the centre there and I'll stitch the beads to the centre of the eyes. The next things I'll do is attach the eyes to the head, one each side there and I'll stitch this arm down just in there and the other arm goes from the top of the shoulder there down and I'll stitch it in there. Next I attach the nose and I'll embroider on the mouth and I'll attach the tail just in about there. Now the last things I do is attach the ears. They go about there and then I'll attach the head to the body. It goes in about there so I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished meerkat. And there's the finished meerkat. The size when crocheted in the katona is 10 centimetres by 19 centimetres or 4 inches by 7 and a half inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below. 
along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.